Now we're going to be answering some probability questions on classical probability and in answering classical probability the most important element in your probability factions or the factions that you're going to produce would be the sample space. So for problem number one we have a hat that contains 32 marbles. So in this particular experiment n is 32 or, or we have 32 marbles and 27 of them are red and five of them are green. Now the probability question is what's the probability that we are going to be picking a red marble? So we know that red marble is 27. So to find the probability of a red marble, all we have to do is to um, construct a fraction wherein the numerator is the number of success and in this case we have 27 red marbles all over the sample space which is 32 and using your calculator so you will be using a calculator to produce the percentage value of your probability which is going to be 0.84 or 84 percent so this is how we answer this probability by looking at their sample space and for problem number two we have a regular six-sided die and uh, you have to roll it once and the question is to find the probability that the number you will see would be a number less than five so we know that our sample space would be six because there are six possible sides or six possible outcomes when you roll a single die and you have a number that is less than five when you roll it so the probability that will happen it could be a one a two a three or a four and it will be considered a success and five and six is not going to be a uh, successful outcome so the probability of getting a roll that is less than five would be four out of six and when you use the calculator four out of six would be 0.667 or 6 to 6.7 percent. So for number three, we have a random sample of 1,353 adults. So that will be our sample space, 1,353. And 688 of them have shopped at least once on the internet. And then the probability questions that we're going to work on is that if we select an adult, that adult have shopped or has shopped on the internet so we're going to be finding the probability of a person who shopped online so in this case the number of success would be the 688 adults who shopped online out of the 1353 that they asked in this particular survey and using the calculator it will give us point five zero eight or fifty point eight percent and for problem number four we have a group of car owners and there are 50 car owners in this experiment and what's the probability that the owner owns a hybrid car and in this information we are given um, the information of uh, the owners of a hybrid cars so the probability that a person selected owns a hybrid would be 3 out of 50 or 0 0.06 or 6 percent so this is how we use our sample space in computing for the probability and now for number five we are given a standard deck of cards and we need to find the probability that we pick a face card given the standard deck of cards so in a standard deck of cards you should know your sample space and there are four suits in a standard deck of cards with um, 13 uh, cards per suit so 13 times 52 i mean 13 times 4 is 52 so 52 are our sample space and the face card we have three face cards king queen and jack and there are four suits so we have 12 face cards so to find the probability of the face card it will be 12 out of 52 or 23 percent 
So it's extremely important that you know your sample space when you're working with classical probability. And for the last set of experiments that we're going to be working on, notice that we are presented a table. And this particular table, it is um, a survey of people who have shopped online and who have never shopped online. And they asked 2,048 people for this particular survey and this will be our sample space now to answer the first question what's the probability that the person have never shopped on the internet and in this case this one is the um, number of people who have never shopped online so we have 1248 divided by 2048 and this will give us a probability of using your calculator 1248 divided by 2048 is equal to 0.6093 so this is the probability that a person selected have has never shopped online based on our um, model now for the second one, what's the probability that we're going to be selecting a male from this group of people that we surveyed and the total number of male us, um, participants is 1,200 all over 2,048 and using your calculator, it will give us 0.586 or 58.6%. And for the third problem, what's the probability that the person selected will be a female? And the female participants is 848 out of the total number of participants, which will give us 0.414 or 41.4%. And for the last problem, we need to find the probability that they only shopped when the mall is on sale. And in this particular table, there's no information that we have here that would give us a clue on how to find this probability because it's never asked in the survey. So in this particular problem, the probability that a person selected only sh shop when the mall is on sale. In this case, it's going to be 0% because it's not provided in our table. So this is how we compute for the probability or classical probability given the sample space.